Hi guys, this is MacG, and welcome back to another one of my videos. Uh, in this video, we'll be doing um, IRC, uh, and that stands for Internet Relay Chat. Now, there are two ways of doing this. Um, one would be um, a broadcast system, uh, but this one's just one where the server interacts, interacts directly to the clients. So I've gone ahead and created a form here. So let's go and add a few buttons. Uh, do button one and ooh, button two is out of control. There we go. Ish. Ish. Okay. Uh, button one's going to be start. And button two is going to be stop. Ugh, I'm so OCD. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else do I need? I think a label shall do it. Now uh, this label is just gonna tell us the server status, and we're going to. Hmm, I'm gonna go ahead and no, I don't need another label. Fuck it. Okay, guess that'll be it. <laughs> this all done by in the coding way. So I'm gonna double click on here. Just gonna want to do um check for illegal cross threads cross thread calls equals false now this is always important if you're uh, doing multi-threading or just thread pooling which is what we'll be doing so button one is start and start we're just going to uh, I don't know if should I do the button um, yeah. Uh, I won't. Function start server. Just gonna go ahead and do this. Turn true. Okay. Then I'm just gonna go start. Oh, start server. Okay. And now start server. So I've got a bit of the code on the other side of the screen because I can't remember this off the top of my head. Um, okay. What we're going to want to do is create a dim, a boolean, we're going to call this server status and just have that equal to false. If I can find the right key, I'm going to create another boolean, server trying as boolean equals false. I'm going to go ahead and give that uppercase because I'm very OCD tonight. <laughs> okay, now in here we're gonna do server status equals false. Then we're gonna do server trying equals true. Uh, yeah, we'll import it later. Uh, gonna need to create dim server as TCP. Listener, uh, dim clients as a new list of. Oh, already jumped ahead of me. TCP client. And I'm just going to go ahead and import sockets. Come on, do it. Okay. Be weird about it. Um, Start server if that's equal to false. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and type server equals new server. Uh, so that equals new oh, equals new TCP listener and IP address dot any and then the port that you want. I'm gonna do uh, four three zero five. So that's a hilarious port for some old reason. Server.start. Uh, ooh, you better put this into a try and catch, shall we? Why is it going to be having some issues with that later? If it's something's running on that port. Come on. Do you not import? Okay. Uh, gonna want to uh, come down here. Server status equals true. And that just puts the server status to true, so the server is enabled. Um, just in case, if it fails for some reason, I'm gonna have 
that equal to false. And we'll come down here. Server trying equals false. Um, okay, so that's the start done. And do the stop. Server, oh, stop server. Stop server. I might need to do two parts for this in this video. Function stop server. Oh. Return true. Uh, this one's the fun one. <laughs> it's basically like this, but it's slightly more complicated. If server status, come on, if server status equals true. So if the server is running. So we want to go then server trying equals true. Uh, now we're going to do try, try and catch. Now you can leave this in if you want, um, if you want to find out what the issue is. Most of the time it's because of the loop. So in the catch you want to type in server stop. So if there is any error you can either put a message box but this is just going to loop it back around so it's going to try to go through it again. Um, so for each client as TCP client, sorry, in clients, so the list clients up here, the list, uh, we want to do client dot close. So it's going to close all the connections. Then down here, I'm going to type server dot stop. Then server status, server status equals false. Um, and I think, I think that's it. Uh, okay. And the next one is going to be the handler. So function uh, handler client. Then I'm just going to type by val state as object. Return true. Ooh, we're already at seven minutes. Alright. Using client as tcp client equals server dot accept socket. Uh, where Except is it TCP socket? I can't remember. I think it's I think it's accept TCP socket. Yeah, it sounds about right. Except TCP socket. Uh, shit. I should probably put that into a try and catch, shouldn't we? Sounds good. Okay. So in here, I want to type if server status. Ah, uh, uh, shit. If server trying. We're trying equals true. Oh, equals false. So if the server is not trying, like trying to stop or start, then we want to type threading dot thread pool. Query user work uh, address of, and then we want to type handler dot client again. Handler client. And this will just allow for um, multiple users. So you can have not just one user. It'll be lots more. <laughs> uh, okay. So after that, we want to go down here. Oh, clients dot add. And we're going to add oh, client. And I'll add that to the clients list. Okay. Uh, next. So we're gonna do dim uh, tx transmit as new stream writer, and we're just gonna do client dot get stream, and we're gonna come down here, dim irx as new stream reader client dot get stream, and that just makes it more easy to handle the stream-wise and sending and receiving data. So I just went and imported that. Um, 
So we're going to do if rx dot base stream, which is just that stream client dot get stream uh, dot can read equals true. Then while rx dot base stream dot can read equals true, and this is just where we're going to listen for things. So dim uh, raw data as string equals rx dot read line okay um, trying to think what I need to do next um, okay so I've already got them to try um, okay guess it'll be down here ah is it down here or no sorry it's down here if rx dot base stream oh no that's inside the wrong handler uh, okay how can I get past this maybe if we um, I think if we chuck this into another try I think we might be able to bypass this little issue I think that'll work. I don't know. Let's just do a different way. If rx dot base stream, come on. Ah, crap. Uh, having the same issue like with the handler. If rx dot base stream can read equals false. We'll just do it this way. Uh, if it's equal to false, then a client dot close and clients dot remove client uh, I think what we can do is maybe can do this dim temp client as TCP client okay and what we will do here is uh, so once it goes here so we're gonna do temp client equals client uh, it's new TCP client and then that will that work? No, okay shit okay we'll just have to do it like that uh, okay so then we're going to come down here and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And we're just going to change this to client.getStream. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Get stream. Ugh. Client. I need that to be temp. If temp client. Template, da, 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 da. yep. Temp, uh, temp. Okay, and I think that is it. Yep. Okay. Uh, just in case, I think what I'm gonna do is just um, copy and paste that here. Like so. Okay. And I think we're good to go. So, in the next video, on the next part, I'll be doing the client.